Okay, so far we have been talking about different levels of linguistic structure. We began with the production of speech sounds, then we talked about organization of speech sounds, then we looked at the organization and formation of words that was followed by lectures by my colleague on sentence construction. So, basically between speech units, between speech sounds and sentence formation, we take care of what we call grammar. But in the language, in any natural language, there is another more important aspect which is known as social aspect. People will pardon you for mistakes of grammar, but they do not pardon you for mistakes of etiquette, for mistakes of pragmatics, for mistakes of social and cultural kind. So, we also look at last and the final level of language, which is sometimes known as sociolinguistics, sometimes known as pragmatics, sometimes known as discourse. Even discourse has a structure. Today and this week and if required next week, we will be talking about structure of discourse, how language is socially sensitive. To recapitulate, <coughs> we began talking with the production of speech sounds, what is the branch of the subject, what is the name of the subject, the what is the name of the branch of linguistics that studies the production of speech sounds, we called it phonetics. How do you pronounce it? Phonetics, it is not phonetics, many people in India pronounce it wrongly. It is phonetics, you stress me. Then we talked about organization of speech sounds. What is the branch of linguistics that studies organization of speech sounds? Phonology. Then we spoke about word formation. And what did we decide to call it? Morphology. Then we looked at sentence construction, principles of sentence construction. And what did we call it? Syntax. Finally, all of these things, phonetics, phonology, morphology, syntax add up to use of language. So, we study use of language and this is studied under various levels. Some people call it pragmatics, what to use, where and when. Some people call it sociolinguistics, they find social structure in language. Some people call it discourse. Okay. Beginning today and possibly rest of this week and part of next week, we will talk about discourse structure and that will be the end of the course. Okay. Are we together? Are you with me? Do you understand?
right. <coughs> what is discourse? How do we define it? Look at the following utterance. Suppose somebody tells you, somebody tells you, you just hear this sentence. I had been busy in the luggage van. Who do you think is the speaker? You know nothing about the speaker. You only hear this sentence. I had been busy in the luggage van. Yes, some passenger, okay, wonderful. Passenger of what? Aircraft, railway train, bus. So, which, you know, so is it a bus or a car or a railway train? Come on, make a guess. There is no punishment for going wrong, but there are rewards for being right. Railway train. Railway trains usually have yeah. luggage vans, okay. Aircrafts do not have, buses do not have, ships have cargo hold, they do not have luggage van. So, railway trains, number one. <coughs> Is this a passenger or an official or what? Maybe, maybe a passenger, maybe an official, but none else. It has to be one of the two. Who is the listener? We. Are we connected anyway with railways? Maybe he is saying this to the passengers, other passengers, or maybe to other railway officials. Lovely. Where are they likely to be? Is it happening on telephone? Maybe, but what is more likely? In person, it is quite likely that it is person. What time do you think it might be? You may not be able to say AM, PM, but can you say is it before the departure of the train, after the departure of the train, before the arrival of the train, after the arrival of the train? What is your, please look at it carefully. You see, this is what language does language gives you more clues than there are in words. From one sentence you are able to make out whether I should go with this person for a cup of tea or I should not. Many people say girls have greater ability to decide this. Uh, I am not aware of any systematic study. I have seen as many accidents with girls as with boys, but you know all of us have this ability. From one sentence with a stranger in the railway train, we decide whether I should leave my purse with him or I should take even my handkerchief to the toilet. Is not that right? Is not that right? How do we decide? So, please think, where are they likely to be and what is the time? Time you may not be able to say a m p m but you can say before, after. Come on, make a guess. After, after, the after, the departure. Departure. after the departure. Any other guess? After the, after, the arrival. after the arrival, I will not hire any of you as detective. Any other guess? Train is about to depart. Is about to depart. The train is about to, everybody is anxious. Where is the guard? Okay? And the guard says, I had been busy in the luggage van. That is more likely. Other, other guesses are also possible. But what is more likely? This is more likely. Okay? Where are they likely to be? In a restaurant? On the platform? In the car? Come on. On the platform. On the platform. Because everyone is waiting for the, unless God gives the whistle, how is the train going to go? Okay? What is the topic? What are they talking about? To which this is the answer. Uh, this is obviously the answer. I had been busy in the luggage van. What could have been the question? Where were you? Okay? 
So, they are talking about the absence of that person. What variety of language? Is it a standard English? It is, is it a informal, formal? What is your guess? What is your guess? Is it friendly, hostile slang? What is it? It is formal. You see, this is where can I, it, what I am going to say now is not related to linguistics, but I must tell you, see you know only one kind of English, formal English, but you need to know more. Now that you are about to step into the world, you know you must know different kinds of Englishes and the best way to know that is not through a course with Shirish Chaudhary. The best way to know that is to read, read a variety of literature. Okay. Come back to it, one sentence I had been busy in the luggage van can give you a lot of information even when you are physically not there. This is discourse, this is an utterance in a context. Okay. You have topic, you have a speaker, you have listener, you have time, you have place, you have language. Okay. What are the things you have? Close your eyes. What makes a discourse? a topic, a speaker, then a listener, then time, then a place, then a language. Come again, close your eyes. Tell me what makes a discourse. Number one, speaker, listener, topic, time, place, language. At least some people add mode. Are you talking on phone? Are you on internet? are you on etcetera, etcetera. You know we can say all this in place and time. These are the basic structure of uh, these parameters make a discourse. You know in other words many people call it and it is easy for you to remember who speaks, to whom, on what, where and when. Come on tell me who speaks, to whom, on what, where and when. You can say in what language, right? That makes a discourse and that analysis, that study and you see the interesting thing, the miracle of nature, the wonder of nature. Nobody sat down and taught you this grammar, but all of us from one sentence can make out. If you hear some word like Namaskaramandi or Kuchandi, you can make out which part of the country that person comes from. Does he or she come from Warangal or Mahabubnagar or maybe Tadepalli Gudam? You, know, you can make out from one utterance whether it is a boy or girl, whether it is a young or old, rich or poor, standard speaker, non-standard speaker, a variety of information. So, what is a discourse? A discourse is an utterance in a context. It can be one word, it can be thanks. It can be a long speech by all the babas, all the sadhus, all the professors, you know, we are all in the same business, right? Any utterance is a context, in, in a context, any utterance in a context is discourse. I am giving you the full context. Actually, I took that sentence from a very famous poem. I showed you parts of that poem. Do you remember? earlier when I was doing phonology. You can go to net, please write and click. I should have written it here. It is from uh, T. S. Eliot's cat poems. T. S. Eliot. Let me write here. The poem is called Skimble Shanks. the railway cat. By T. S. Eliot. I have taken these lines from this poem. Go to net, Google T. S. Eliot, Skimble Shanks. It is a wonderful, hilarious video and underlying a great message 
as happens in any great literature. So you see, you get all the information here at 11.42. What is the time? 11.42. With the signal overdue and the passengers all frantic to a man, that's when I would appear, the guard says, I keep everybody waiting because I'm an important person. That's when I would appear and I would saunter to the rear. I would walk. This is saunter. This is jogging. You see, we have all kinds of names for different kinds of motions. So I would saunter to the rear. I had been busy. Nobody can ask me. I am such an important person. I was checking the luggage van. Okay? Any utterance in a context. What is a context? Where, when, to whom, topic, who, what, etc., etc. That is discourse. It gives you entire social information. Am I clear to you? Say yes or no, please. Yes, sir. Sure? Yes, sir. Okay, lovely. Let's move on. <coughs> In other words, these are the parameters of discourse. I'm going to mail uh, these slides to Mahesh, so don't worry. Okay? Topic, addresser, addressee, language, mode, it can be a spoken or written, it can be X or Y, you know, these days there are more choices, setting, place, time, etc., etc. That also means that language changes. There is variety. Any change actually, okay? change in any part of discourse can change language. Language can change from place to place. Language can change, you know, and it changes not only just in pronunciation. It changes not only in words. It changes in all kinds of things. Sentence structure can differ when you are with an intimate friend. You do not say, I had been in the luggage van. You say, hi, luggage van. Where were you? In the luggage van. Or maybe LV, when you use cryptic, but it still gives complete information. Okay? Language changes in many other parameters. Language changes according to region. So, we have dialects. There is no natural language which is spoken alike all over the world. Be they English, be it Maithili, which is what uh, my, you know, I and my people speak in North Bihar and Nepal, be it Telugu. Do you speak Telugu all alike all over Andhra or beyond Andhra? There is a sizable population of Telugu speakers in Tamil Nadu and their Telugu is different from the Telugu I had heard in Hyderabad. Similarly, in Hyderabad, I have friends from Warangal and Kammam. They say that our Telugu is different from the Telugu spoken in Rajmandri and they say that their Telugu is different from the Telugu spoken in Madanapalli, Chittur. There are dialects. Regional variation is known as dialect. Then there are class and caste variations. In India, we have more caste related. Brahmin Telugu, Brahmin Tamil. Brahmin, the Brahmins do not say Solinga Solinga, they say Cholinga Cholinga. Am I right? In Tam anybody who speaks Tamil here? Anybody who learnt Tamil here? You should have learnt Tamil before leaving. Okay? Do Brahmins speak like that? Cholinga Cholinga. They do not say Tali, they say Tirtham here. Okay. Similar things in Telugu. You know, Brahmin Telugu is different from Christian Telugu, from you know, Anti Ramarao Telugu. Why is Rasekar Reddy's son, what is his name? Yeah, he is my favorite candidate for chief minister. I like his Telugu. Okay. You see, there, there, there are class and caste related differences. Topic registered for each subject, the kind of English you use in chemistry is not the same we use for literary criticism, is not the same they use in physics, is not the same. You know, I was amazed once, somebody from chemistry said mercury is liquid, somebody from physics said it is solid. They are describing the same thing, it is like God, you know. Some of us imagine God as a woman, come to my part of the country, we imagine God as a woman. Durga, Kali, Lakshmi, Saraswati, full stop. We do not recognize Vishnu, Krishna, 
etc. But in this part of the country, you know, that is nature. So, you have language according to topic. You have language according to intimacy. Talking to a friend in the hostel, in the bathroom maybe, <laughs> okay, is one kind of language. Talking to a professor in uh, web studio or in your, you know, laboratory is another kind of language. It depends on the relay. <coughs> Actually, those who research these things say that change in any part of discourse, you change who language changes, you change to whom language changes, you change where language changes. Any part of discourse changing also changes language. Some people say this is language, this is dialect. Have you heard that? In Hindi, they say that what, what is spoken in Bihar is a dialect of uh, Hindi is spoken in Delhi. Actually, there is nothing like language, nothing like dialect. They are all dialects, but one dialect has got prestige of power. If Nehru had been from Bihar, then Bihari Hindi would be the standard Hindi. Well, unfortunately, Nehru was from Allahabad. So, Allahabad Hindi became the standard Hindi. Similarly, if imagine had Prakasam been from Telangana, then Telangana Telugu would have been the standard Telugu, not Andhra Telugu. Unfortunately, Prakasam was from Andhra. Okay. I'm, you know, I am giving you gross examples. I do not know if it is historically correct, but somebody had said language is a dialect with an army and navy. That means with power. Okay. But all dialects are equal. They are equally capable of any role. Many of us say engineering can be taught only in English. Do you believe that? Do you believe that? Any language can perform any function. You can do neurosurgery in Telugu, you can do a stock broking in Telugu, you can cheat in Telugu, you can write poetry in Telugu, you can do anything you wish to. You may have to borrow a few words. Is there a language which has not borrowed words? English is the most borrowing language. Sanskrit has also borrowed, Persian has also borrowed, Greek and Latin have also borrowed. Purity in language is a myth. There is nothing like that in reality. All dialects can perform equally well or equally unwell. It is people behind them who do that. Right? Let us look at some examples. Dialects. Is it the same English that is spoken in the US and the UK? Look at the pronunciation. In UK, A N T I is pronounced as? Everybody, please. Anti. Make it long. How is it pronounced? Anti. But in the US, anti. It is the same language. Is it the same language? These are dialectal differences. Look at S E M I. How is it pronounced in the UK? Semi. But in the US, semi. Or C L A S S. In the UK? Class. How is it pronounced? Class. Not class. 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 They are long, you know, very long. Class. But in the UK, in the US, class. How is it in the US? Class. G O D in UK is God. Oh God. Say that. But in the US, God. Oh God. Jaw opens. Come on, say it again. Right? Similarly, you know, L O B A R L A B O R A T O R Y. In the UK, it is laboratory. But in the US, next word. What is the U, what is the British pronunciation? Multidimensional. But in the US, multidimensional, you know. These are regional differences. Do not you have similar differences between Telangana Telugu and Andhra Telugu? I had always heard in uh, Hyderabad, Charana, Charana, but 
once I happened to be in Vishakapatnam and the auto driver was at that time saying Nalguana, Nalguana, I said what are you talking about? It is Charana or Nalguana, but he says no, it is Nalguana. Okay. So, words are different, pronunciation is, 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 is different and it happens in all languages, not just English. Okay. Look at even words differ between dialects. In, in the UK, you mend a bicycle or bike, but in the US, you fix a bicycle. Here we fix marriages, we fix deals. Okay. In the US, you sign a bill, but in the sorry in the UK, but in the US it is check. What is biscuit in US? Cookie. What is canteen in US? What is can in UK? Tin. What is candy in UK? Sweets. What is a bus in UK? Coach. Okay. What is a truck in UK? Lorry. You see, and we. What is petrol in US? Gas. What is a flat in US? Apartment. You see, this is how different. Can you give me some examples of differences between Vishakapatnam, Warangal, and Kadpa? This will be a sure question for you at the end semester examination. Okay. Write an essay on regional differences among different dialects of Telugu or Hindi. Okay. Start thinking. You see education does not mean only what is offered to you. Education also means awareness of world around you. Everything cannot be taught. It is not possible it is not necessary. You must be sensitive to the world around you. Okay. Even within you know let alone US and UK they are too far apart. They take 7 hours of flying time between London and New York, but even within a tiny country like England you can drive across England in 3 hours. In such a tiny country also you know there are difference. In London, S U N, sorry, in, in the received standard pronunciation of English, S U N is sun, but in places like Manchester, there is a wonderful engineering college in Manchester, Manchester University Institute of Science and Technology, they call it U MIST, it is a wonderful college, like IIT, you know, they have all kinds of disciplines. Okay. So, there you know, S U N is sun. They do not say sun. L O V E is love. C U T is cut. You know, I happen to have studied in Manchester, and one day, you know, our driver was taking us for a, an excursion. So, and driver was also the guide. So, he said, Now, gentlemen, we are going to take a shortcut. I said, What is shortcut? I had been, I had been taught English all my life. I had heard it shortcut, but he was taking shortcut. And then, you know, you start hearing. Frequently at the bus stop you will hear, suppose you know the girl is talking on phone and the boy is waiting there. So, the boy suddenly shouts, here is Bus Miluf. What is, what is he saying? Here is Bus my love, you know. So, it becomes Bus Miluf, you know. Dialects differ. One can have A pronunciation, the other can have B pronunciation. One can have A word, the other can have B word, but they are all equal. Never look down upon a speaker of any other language or dialect because they are speaking, they are using the same God given system or nature given system. You know, there are differences in, in received pronunciation market, you do not pronounce r, but lots of 98 percent people in England pronounce r, they say market, they do not say market. Okay. Class related differences, class related you know in, in, in if you go to London you find you know those girls, shop girls, taxi drivers and uh, hotel waiters, a lot of them speak what is called cockney. In cockney they do not pronounce the initial h, h at the beginning of the word. So, what is this sentence? 
they pronounce what arm is there in leaving less and groove, then a disappear and leave, sir. You know, I takes s a standard English, it should be I disappear, I leave. Okay. Look at the third sentence. What is it in a standard English? What is that is cockney? In a standard English, what is it? The rain in Spain stays mainly in the plains, but in Cockney this is the rain in spine stays mainly in the plain, and this is how Australians also speak. In Australia, it is not waves that beat on the beach, it is wives that beat on the beach. <laughs> okay, when you go to Sydney and somebody asks you, "Did you come here to die?" and you should say yes. In to die in Sydney is today. Okay. These are dialectal differences. It happens, you know. In my part of Bihar, in my part of India, in actually Hindi in Bihar, we do not say sh, we do not say English, we do not say Shankar, which is Sankar. And if you say sh, then all of us will tell you, why are you hissing like a snake? Doing sh, sh like Bengalis. Okay. So, you know, there are these. Look at this Cockney in Hartford, Erford, and Ampshire. Actually, it should be Hartford, Hereford, Hampshire, then hurricanes hardly ever happen. This is Cockney. Different spellings in between US, same word written differently. Okay. Look at you know, I have also given you examples from Hindi. I expect you will make your own table of examples from Telugu. Okay? Hindi in Bihar and Delhi compare in what the vest that men we are wear under their shirt in Bihar is called Ganji, but in Delhi it is Banyan. My Delhi friends, why do not you have Balawali? You know, how crude can you get? Ganji can also mean a lady without hair. Okay? In, in, in Bihar, we do not say Mai Jata hun, we say Ham Jate. If you say Mai Jata hun, people will laugh at you. They say, Why are you doing Mai, Mai like a goat? Okay? You know, each region has its own peculiarity, but in Delhi, they say Mai. In Patna, you can never buy a samosa. In Patna, it is Singhara. Okay? Like that, you know, in, in, in Patna you never eat chawal. Chawal is raw rice. We eat boiled rice, which is bhat. Okay? So, there are those differences. In Hyderabad, you take auto, in Delhi, you take scooter, in Bihar, Patna, you take tempo, the same three wheeler thing. You know, the names differ. There are class related differences, upper class, lower class. In, in, in English, Upper class people have bicycle, they do not have cycle, they, they wear dinner jacket, they eat vegetables, they use scent, they fall ill, they use looking glass, they wear spectacles. But working class people, they go on cycle, they have dress suit, they take greens if they can afford it. Greens are very expensive in England. They use perfume, they fall sick, they use mirror, they use glasses. Similar things can happen in any language. In my mother tongue, yesterday when I was preparing for this lecture, I looked at Maithili and I found we also have similar differences. You know, I belong to upper caste, upper class in my village. I never say give me pine, I will say give me jal, water. We do not take timan, you know. Everything is fixed. The boy likes the girl. Families have agreed on dowry, how many people would come Bharat, but suddenly the grandmother of the boy hears that the girl is saying Timan rather than Tarkari. Oh, the girl is lower caste. She will ruin the generations to come. The boy cries, the girl cries, but the marriage does not happen. Okay? All the sad songs are played. Right? People can have a strong attitude even to minor things in social aspects of language, not in grammatical aspects of language. Topic related differences, can you tell me 
which subject this sentence comes from? Look at it carefully man, you guys claim to have studied sciences and engineering, biochemistry, come on, kinetics, kinetics can happen anywhere, do not cheat me please, chemical, come on folks, okay, you see the, these border lines are thin this is actually biophysics. I deliberately chose something difficult and this phonology, phonetics phonology obviously you know. How do you know this is phonetics phonology? What gives you that clue? No, tell me, give me that word. You have words like stress, you have words like connected speech, you have words like pronunciation, you have words like emphasis, okay. Whereas, in the earlier example, you have words like rate, average rate, you have RNA, you have protein, you have de degradation, rate of degradation, okay you have things like concentration, polymer, etcetera, etcetera, etcetera. Do you see the point? It is the density of particular kinds of words, okay, which gives you the clue what you are looking at and your mind automatically captures that. Even before you realize that you are listening to biophysics, you know you are listening to biophysics, okay. There is a grammar, super grammar working in your mind. Similarly, you know degrees of intimacy, imagine a situation you know, why imagine a situation? Only three or four years of later you are going to have an accident in your life, you will be asked to get married okay? and your parents are going to print a card. Okay? So, there will be one kind of card, your, pa your parents would if I am still around and you have given good picture of me to your parents then your parents will invite me. What would they write? Would they say, hi dear series come? What would they say in Telugu? Forget English. Write an invitation card for your son inviting your son's teacher. Tell me. Namaskaramundi, Bhagunara, etcetera, etcetera. Okay, then come on, tell me. Oh, come on, the, give me the full thing. Please capture my friend. Come on, please. Make a mistake, doesn't matter. You see, we are experimenting, we are playing a game. Okay? Suppose your sister is getting married. Invite me to your sister's marriage. Give me a good, very flowery, formal Telugu. We all do that. Even in in my you know, I, I, I wish I had brought that. First three lines are nothing except honor to the Addressee, okay. Brahmandaniliam, Prakasavidvatam, you know, you are the source of light, you are this, you are that, but that is necessary. If you do not do that, people might take offense. Come on, give me some example. Okay, forget that. Suppose you are inviting your friend from BTEC with whom you used to go to. Taramani used to do quote unquote bad things, you are inviting him to your wedding. What would you say? Would you print a card and say, dear so and so, I am most honored to? <laughs> what would you say? Everybody please, I will give you 30 seconds, write it on your notebook and then read it to me. 30 seconds. Write what would you tell your best friend that you are going to get married next Monday. Please join me on that sad occasion. What would you say in Telugu or in English? Either way, whatever you would use with your friend.
Somebody, when I asked this question last semester, somebody wrote, oh, wow, finally someone has agreed to marry me. <laughs> Please come. Okay. What would you write? Finished? God, you guys are so low on imagination. Nothing? Can't you write Telugu or English? Excuse me. Nothing? Are you what a pity? Give me something. We are still saying the same thing in all of these fours, you know. Linguistic, you know, literature in linguistics describes it as a style. A style is the variation of language depending upon intimacy between the addresser and the addressee. So, you can have levels, you can have degrees, you can have frozen style. Look at the use of passive voice. You are most cordially invited passive voice. It is not saying I am inviting you. You are most cordially invited to grace the occasion of the happy wedding of our son X with Y daughter of A B. Okay, this is frozen style. You a less frozen, a little warm, maybe people you know but do not know very well. So, you can say, will you be kind enough to attend? You have you are more being more direct. There can be intimate. Please join us at the wedding of my son, etcetera, etc. Or casual, you know. You know each other so well that you know you really do not have to worry. You can get away with anything. You can just say, Hi, come over, dear Vicky, come over for the wedding of x or y. The point once again, come back to it. The point I am making is the following. Languages, languages differ. Actually, any change, look at the first line of this slide. Change in any part of discourse. You change the speaker, you change the listener, everything is the same. It is still hostile it is still dining hall, it is still on the dining table, it is still dinner in the evening, but in place of your friend X, you have your teacher Y, everything will change. In friend of your, in place of your friend X from your hostel, you have friend called Y from another hostel, still language changes. So, the language will change according to addresser, addressee, topic, place, time, etcetera, etcetera. Any change, there are names for all of these things and discourse analysis studies all of these things. What I may do is, I may give you a paragraph of a spoken text at the examination and I may tell you, please tell me, who is speaking to, whom, where, when, on what, etcetera, 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 etcetera. Okay. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you. Have a good day. Uh, we meet here tomorrow again at nine o'clock and continue this discussion. Thank you. Have a good day. <laughs>